Next, it would be possible to remove um, the prism and then I can clean uh, the ground glass. To unscrew it, um, there's three screws, one, two, three, and um, it is very important that you keep track on the washers that are underneath those because they can be um, on very individual thicknesses such that um, the manufacturer was able to adjust the height of the ground glass very precisely. And we need to make note of the position of these um, washers and put them back together in the exact same position and then it will be all right. So in this case it was uh, one washer above and above this metal thing and there's probably also one underneath but I don't see it yet. Let's remove the other screws. So now I can uh, remove the prism and I do it very carefully to do not um, lose those washers. So there's one underneath. And there also. No, there isn't. This is fixed to the plate, so I will not lose them. I Right now I don't know if it's um, washers or it is a part of the shape of the plate, but it really doesn't matter as long as I keep track on where everything goes back together. So I usually um, make a note for those trees. And then I fix it to the node with some tape. The screw wouldn't need to be the same, but I keep it anyways. And also I make a mark for the right screw that um, the, sh the washer was above and not underneath the prism. I checked again and now you can see that those washers are loose. So I also secure them to my notes. As a next step, I would like to remove the shutter from the camera body and um, it would also be possible to remove the entire shutter plate from the camera body, but then it would be necessary to um, lift off some of the leatherette here um, on, the, on this side and on that side and there's four screws um, holding the shutter plate to the body but I think for this camera this will not be necessary for cleaning. So for just taking the shutter off, I set it to infinity, then I remove the camera back, and then there's uh, four screws um, holding the shutter to the body. I don't know if it's seeable in the video but it's quite obvious um, you will find them and those screws need to be removed.
that's those four screws. And I can lift off the body of the shutter. Now note that, um, first of all, on the shutter, there's a ring and it works as a spacer between the shutter and the body. Um, so keep an eye on that. And on the body side, we have the focus mechanism. And um, this is the setting in the infinity setting. And when moving this focus wheel uh, and the shutter would be screwed in, the middle ring here would stay on its location and therefore um, move out. And the shutter rests on this ring here. And if you want to tweak the, um, the focus point of infinity, you just need to rotate this ring a little bit. If the focus to infinity is already very good, then you can simply make a mark somewhere across so you can find the point back. But in this time, um, I will need to adjust and so I, don't, I won't make a mark. Also quite interesting that someone already made a mark. I believe that, yes, it's for the um, starting position when screwing this um, ring in because it has a multi-thread and um, the starting position is of course quite important to find the point back. And this is marked by a, a line across in the state of um, a flush surface. I will not remove this ring because the focus is very smooth. But if it wasn't smooth, I would uh, remove this ring and clean the thread. And then I would probably use some grease to re-lubricate it. But for now, I think I want to continue with the shutter and uh, put the body aside. Let's take a look at the shutter unit. So um, what we have is a single compo shutter. And inside that shutter, we have a tessar lens. And a tessar lens has, um, well, it has four lenses, but um, they are combined in three groups. Uh, the front lens, which is interchangeable for this type, and I already took it off in the beginning. The central lens, which is this lens, and the rear lens. Well, it actually is two lenses, but they are glued together, so it uh, looks like one. And the centered lens, as well as the rear lens, um, well, at least the repair manual, manual claims that they are centered in the manufacturer, so um, it is important to not remove them. Of course, the centered lens element we already removed, but we are allowed to do that because um, I keep track of the location of the pin, so I will um, screw it back in at the same location where it was when I unscrewed it. There's different um, versions of this shutter unit even for just the Contaflex 4. So on some Contaflexes you might see that there's screws from this side that you need to remove at the, um, well, at the periphery side of the shutter. But in this case um, there's no screws and it will not be necessary. And I will start from this side. Unfortunately, I cannot um, put it flush on the bottom because um, there's this and I cannot remove it right now, but that's okay. So let's just remove, um, I think it's obvious to how, how this is removed, just um, unscrew everything. These screws can be a bit delicate, so be careful to not damage the screw heads. So what comes off now is multiple parts. It's um, the front ring, the cover, um, that's held in by the three screws. That aside. Then there's the shutter speed setting ring. And also those two 
that are used to set the aperture and the um, exposure value by the red dot here. And there's four screws that hold in the um, bayonet mount for the front lens. Now you can see how it is not possible to remove this unless you uh, remove the centered lens. I again use my ping pong tool because it's a bit difficult. And there it is. Note that the um, sticky part of this does not reach the lens because it's um, further down. So the lens is not damaged by this tool. Now I can lift off the black plate. And we have access. Well, at least we see the mechanism now. The um, unit that holds this down is still screwed in. And you can see there's four screws. One, two, they are not easy to see. In the, in the seam of this um, container and on, as I already said on some models they are screwed in from this side um, and need to be unscrewed from this side but um, this time it's from this side and also note that um, there's four screws here that um, are held in place with some lacquer and I really wouldn't um, remove them because at least the repair manual claims that uh, this is also centered and shouldn't shouldn't be destroyed. Also, it's really not necessary to unscrew it. You can reach everything without unscrewing this um, black part. But now let's continue and remove those four screws. So now I can carefully remove this and only now I can finally access all the mechanics inside the shutter because now I can lift off um, this ring here. The next part is to remove the shutter from the shutter container and to do that we need to flip it around and remove or unscrew um, a ring that is not, not easy to see, but it's the most outer ring around the tubular lens mount. So really do not remove anything here or anything on the lenses. At least I um, am not sure whether uh, you would destroy any centering then. Anyways, uh, I will first try to simply use the lens spanner. But yeah, that's as usual, very hard to remove. And the problem is I don't really have a grip with my left hand. And to solve that problem, I use a second lens spanner. So, um, yeah, I use I use the uh, holes of the screws that I just removed uh, one step earlier as a grip for this lens spanner. Um, and the other one to grip 
the ring Still let it come off. Let me apply some solvent. Now it moves. Very good. I slightly damaged the black color of this ring, but that's really not a problem because it's not in the optical path and no, no light will reach there. So now the ring comes off. I can carefully lift out the shutter of the shutter container. Um, notice the position of the flash contact as well as um, that the lever of the self-timer reaches through this slot. So when I um, turn it this way, it's easy to re remove. And now you can see how, how um, this is contained, uh, or it is con directly connected to the container, but not at all to the shutter unit. I can move this aside now.